Marseille and Ian, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Uh, eight years it's been since Paw Patrol debuted. That's that's a long time. Is this a show that, that you both kind of grew up with? Yes, of course. Honestly, I feel like Paw Patrol is something that's on everyone's TV screens mostly. Uh, especially if you have like a little kid or any of that. Um, no, Paw Patrol is just an amazing, loved by so many people type of franchise. And it's just so fun and amazing. And now it's finally a movie. And no, it's it's a it's a big celebration. That's for sure. And how about you? Well, I have a lot of little cousins, and uh, you know, a lot of the friends of friends of family with younger kids. And you know, I must say, when I heard I was going to be in this movie, and I I, I saw my little cousins uh, fairly shortly after, they were like, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, it's definitely a household name with a lot of families, and it's really cool that it's finally going to be, be a movie, just like Marseille, <laughs> just like Marseille said, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the flex for you. I mean, you play Chase, the, you know, the, the almost the, the, the headliner dog in the series. How, how what is that for you to, uh, to play that and to also bring a little bit of background to that character? It's very exciting. Um, I'm very happy to be doing it. And also it's really cool because this one shows, I think, you know, so many people view the Paw Patrol as being this awesome invincible team. And in this movie, Chase has a fear that Mm -hmm. he really has to overcome. And it's cool because it really shows that, you know, being brave isn't about just, you know, being fearless. It's about, you know, having those fears and going for it anyway and conquering your fears. So that's a great answer. Thank you. Marce, you get the opportunity to introduce a new character to the to the Paw Patrol team, which is exciting. My daughter had also mentioned to me that there was only one uh, one girl on the team and it uh, looks like now we have two. Tell us a little bit about Liberty. Um, Liberty is just, it's just a queen. Um, <laughs> so she's, um, she's such an, a wild, brave, confident um, pup and she, she knows what she's doing. She is street smart. She knows all the ups and downs when it comes to Adventure City. So um, she knows what, she knows what the city needs, that's for sure. So when she calls the Paw Patrol, she is super excited and so ecstatic. And I think the cool part of playing her is that she is a new character and that um, we kind of get to see her from kind of like how the ground up really is. It's like you really you really get to build her personality, which was one of the biggest things for me as well, because, I mean, I love Liberty. So it's cool. Awesome. It is a super fun movie. I got, I got to ask both of you. You uh, at your young age, you're very, very established in in Hollywood and television. Marseille with Blackish, Ian, uh, Young Sheldon. What do you guys prefer to do? Do you have a preference between live uh, doing live action or voice work, or, or you know whichever whichever comes to you? I, I love them both. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I love them both for two different reasons. Uh, one for voiceovers, I get to be in sweats all day. <laughs> and well with uh, live action it's just you are fully in the character like body language and all like you, you're fully in it so I love them both for two different things I love them both just like what Marseille said I you know I think it's really cool with voiceover because in some ways I think it's almost a little bit harder because you know with live action you can really convey your character through movement and stuff but, you know, when you're doing animation, all you got is your voice. Uh, you know, the animators are going to put in the rest. So, you know, really uh, bringing emotion and bringing, you know, all the, all the stuff that you want your character to be like uh, in through your voice. And it's a really cool challenge, but I also love live action. <laughs> Marce and Ian, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Congratulations on the film. I know that there's going to be, you know, thousands and thousands of kids and parents excited August 20th. Uh, and I'm looking forward to continue to see your guys' work. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Thank you guys. You.